Hello everyone, happy to see you here. Really interesting problem today, math problem. We have an exponential equation, 3 to the x plus 9 to the x plus 27 to the x equal to 14, and we need to find our x. How can we do it? On the first side, this equation is real hard because we have all different bases. As you can see, 3, 9, 27, all bases are different. Moreover, this constant is different from this one. We have x, 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 so in exponent, it's a lot harder to solve this equation, but I will show you a really good trick right here. I hope you see right now that this 9 and 27 is really good numbers because we can easily write this 9 as, as 3 cube. Yeah, this 3 cube and this 9, or oh, sorry, 27 as 3 cube and this 9 as 3, as 3 square. So I hope you understand this step. We just can easily rewrite it in, in another way. And right now we, we still have x, so we write it at, as x right here equal to 14. Right here we have plus, right here we still have x, and right here 3 to the x in the beginning. So we just change the constant in another way, as 3 square and 3 cube. Okay, what are we going to do next? Take a look closely, we need to know a really good rule. We have a to the x raised to the power, for example, b. We can easily write it as a to the power x times b. So if we have situation like that, if you raise, if you have parentheses, you can easily multiply it. And right now we need to use this rule right here. Right here we don't need it, we have 3 to the x in the beginning, so we have plus 3 to the power 2x and plus 3 to the power 3x equal to equal to 14. Okay, what we're going to do next? Of course, this rule works in a reverse way. For example, if you still have b right here, a x outside, you can easily swap these two numbers because we have a product. So moreover, we can easily write that right here equal to a to the power b raised to the power x. So our rule is the next one. Right here, we can easily swap these two, these two numbers. So this is a really good rule. Remember this rule or learn this, this rule. And why I write this rule right here? Because we can easily write this as 3 to the x plus 3 to the x square and plus 3 to the x, 3 to the x, cube equal to 14. So this is our preparation before before solving this. As you can see, we finally simplify this in a really good way because we have 3 to the x, we have 3 to the x and 3 to the x. So we need to start with, with substitution. And going back to this rule, we can easily swap it in both ways. Right here, we can write 2 right here, x doesn't matter. We have a product, so it works in, in both way. Doesn't matter, you multiply 2 times 3 or 3 times 2, it will be the same, okay? Okay, we have substitution. So let 3 to the x equal to, for example, t. What equation we will have? I write it in, in different order. I start with this one, so t cube right here plus t square and plus t in the beginning equal to 14 or writing as minus 14 equal to 0. So we hope you understand this step. We just write our substitution and we have a cube equation as you can see. How can you solve this cube equation? There are a lot of methods. How can you solve it? Because we have a formula, we have a different ways, we have a different tricks to solve it. But let me show you my way real quick. So firstly, we need to write, not if this is not the fastest way, but I start with this one. So let's find the factors of these factors of these 14. Okay, what factors we will have? Plus minus one, plus minus two, we will have plus minus seven and plus minus 14. This is our factors of this 14. Let's start with this one. And right now, if we plug in these factors real quick right here, so let's start with one real quick in our minds. One plus one plus one minus 14. Of course, real quick, not equal to zero, yeah? Okay, minus one. Let's start with minus one. What we'll have? Of course, the same. Doesn't matter with cube, with square, we'll have the same, not equal to zero, okay? Not equal to zero. Let's go next. We'll have plus two. If we work with plus two, what we'll have? We'll have 8, 8 plus 4 plus 2 and minus 14. It looks like equal to 0 because we have 12 minus 2, we will have 14. So equal to equal to 0. Okay, so we find our factor. So t is equal to 2, t is good for us. So what we have situation right now? We have t minus 2. This is our factor that we find. And we have another parentheses. I write it in dots equal to 0. And right now we're going to find this in other parentheses. How can we find this parentheses? I want to show you a really good trick right now. Take a look closely. Let's start with this one. We have t cube. Let's start with this t cube. 
right here we have t square but we know that we need to find t minus 2 we need to factor t minus 2 and i want to write as minus 2 t square and plus 3 t square okay i write it because if you're talking about the result right here we'll have the same t square as, as the same as right here okay let's go next we have t right here and we need to find we need to factor t minus 2 so what we write we write minus 60 and plus 70 and minus 14 in the end minus 14 equal to equal to 0 okay this is if we add it we will have t so the same as right here completely the same but where this trick take a look closely if you work with these two elements we can easily factor from here t square and in parentheses we will have t minus 2 the same as right here we need to factor it t minus 2 let's work with these two minus 3 t plus uh, 3 t square minus 60 we can easily factor plus 3 t and in parentheses t minus 2 and the last one it is one 70 minus 14 of course we factor this 7 because we need t minus 2 equal to 0 and take a look closely we have t minus 2 t minus 2 and t minus 2 so we can easily factor this t minus 2 let's go with this so t minus 2 what will have as a result in parentheses in second parentheses t square plus 3t and plus 7 equal to 0 so finally we factor our our problem our math question and right now it is the easy way to solve it because we have a product so t minus 2 equal to 0 t equal to 2 this is our first root and the second one t square plus 3t and plus 7 equal to equal to 0 so let's let's try to solve it let's try to find the answer so this is a quadratic equation as you can see so we can easily find our discriminant let's start with this our discriminant equal to square root b square minus 4ac real quick what will have b square 9 minus 4 times 1 times 7 it looks like 28 so our discriminant will be negative so we will have right here we will have two complex two complex roots and if we go into substitution after that we will have uh, roots with our x but complex so two pairs of complex roots right here so right here two complex roots and let's go next we have t, t equal to 2 it's really good because we can easily write our substitution 3 to the x equal to 2 let's go to our substitution taking log from both sides this is a classic log property so x first equal to log 2 base of 3 this is our one and only real number root and x2 and x x2 and x3 equal to or I write it in another way is complex 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 roots complex roots this is our answer one and only real roots real and two pairs of complex roots what do you think about this solution write your suggestion comment write your question comment it will be really interesting to read about it and thank you so much for watching thank you for your support for your likes i really appreciate it it helps me a lot it inspires me a lot to make a new really interesting math content thank you and see you in the next videos